Hello, welcome back. So let's finish up our pixie duster, our Bohippian pixie duster. Make sure you have something to drink. I have some coffee. Be kind coffee as always. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you like this type of content. And if you do, I hope you give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you in the family. We are going to have a 1,000 subscriber giveaway when we get there. We have a ways to go, but um, it'll be bigger than our 500 subscriber giveaway. So, back to the duster. We are now at the point where we are putting the ties on. That's where we ended our last video. Uh, I've got my first set of ties on the top. And I have gone about four or five inches down. Um, so maybe four or five clusters down. And I have attached my next set. Uh, don't worry about the long tassel tails. We will trim them if you want to later. So I've done one already and have decided since I have blue and yellow in the back that I was going to go ahead and put blue and yellow on the ties. So I have my second one in and I'm just going to go ahead and braid this. So we have two gray strands and one blue strand. Um, I'm going to add the yellow for the last set so I'll have uh, two strands of gray and one strand of yellow. I was thinking about going opposite so it was yellow, blue, gray, but I didn't want the yellow to be up top where, you know, me, I tend to spill things and the yellow I feared would stain. So I'm just going to go ahead and braid these real quick. Um, two strands of gray. Well, actually my first one will be a strand of blue and gray. The next ones will be two grays, and then in my right hand, I will have a blue and a gray as well. That way they just, um, it looks nicer. So I'm going to start braiding. I'm going to put you guys on pause. Don't forget to take your coffee break. It is super important to have that coffee break. And um, yeah, when you get down to about the same length, or as long as you want them to be, uh, not it off. And we'll trim it up. We'll trim the ends up afterwards. So I'll see you when I'm done. I have just a few more to get them the same size. So I'll just put a couple more little braids in. And then just keep checking it. And when you think you're at the size you want, just stick a knot in it. Making sure your knot is as close to the end of your braid as you can get. Pull it nice and tight. Again, we'll trim those later. Tie it up real quick. And then we are going to do the same thing with the gray and yellow. So I have two grays. And a yellow. And I'm going to put this one in again, about four or five inches down. We're going to go just making sure these are pretty much the same length. And I'm just going to count these clusters right here, four or five down. Um, here I was four, so we'll go one, two, three, four, and we'll hook it 
right here. Or wherever you want, but I'm going to put it closer to the fifth cluster down. If I can get them on. When you're on trying to do a video, they just don't want to do what they're supposed to. Now I lost it. One, two, three, four, five. Going right in front of the fifth one. Making this way more difficult than it needs to be. <laughs> there we go. Then push it back through. Pull that yarn through. <laughs> I kind of wish I'd put the yellow in the middle. Oh well, that's okay. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and put the other ones on the other side now as well. Let's get them ready. And again, just count. Uh, oopsie, we're falling apart. Hold on. We're not falling apart. We're falling off shoulder so fyi you guys my mannequin is an extra small mannequin and this is a one size fits all so that's why she felt the shoulder falling let me fix this there um again this is an extra small mannequin and this is a one size fits most one two three four we're going to come in just before the fifth one Grab them all. Snug it up. Now, it is totally up to you. Maybe you don't want three sets of ties. Maybe you only want two. Maybe you only want one. That's the glory of these faux hippie dusters, is you can modify them for you. Maybe you want buttons. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, new idea. Okay. So anyway, before we go down a rabbit hole, I'm going to put you guys on pause and I am going to go ahead and get these last two braided up and then I'll be back with you. Well, they're both done and let's just tie them up real quick. I love the yellow and gray together. It is pretty. I like the yellow or the gray and blue together as well. <laughs> Bring this one over. And let's just trim these ends up a little. Decide how long you want them. And you can save these. This The birds are building nests right now. It's that time of year. Save that. They're going to love you. Um, here's the blue. Pull them up even. Might as well grab a yellow one. And we'll trim them two sides. Or at least close. And it's way more difficult than it needs to be. There. For the feathered friends. And just trim these ones up. Sorry. Uh -huh. Way to go, Tracy. You're in the screen and just have a little bit to trim off don't worry if they're not perfect <laughs> because everything I make is perfectly imperfect um, I don't want this to fall off I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna just bring these down a little bit. I do not block any of 
my crochet projects. So you can block them and they will obviously be larger. I prefer how soft it is and to leave it natural. So hand wash, uh, block dry, hang, uh, flat dry, whatever you want to call it. And um, so our pixie duster is done. I love that. I, I'm so glad I added the colors on the ties. I like it much better. That way, um, and we fell again. That way a person seeing it might be like, oh, maybe there's more colors on the back. So we will take a quick coffee break and um, I'm going to go grab my little uh, sewing box and we're going to come back and hide all of our tails that we left. I love it. I think it is stinking adorable, you guys. Let me know what you think and um, enjoy that coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I have a tapestry needle. You can use a crochet hook, whatever you want. And I'm just going to hide our string. Like I said, I make these extra long, way longer than need be. But um, it just makes it easier for me. So I'm going to weave, just weave it in and out. No particular pattern. Um, it's the same exact color, so it's not going to be seen, and we are in the back, um, so it is not going to be seen. I don't know how far down you want to go. You just go as far as you want. Pull it through. Don't pull it too tight because um, you'll leave a little indent right there, and that's where, and somebody, if they were looking, would be able to, would know that's where your yarn is where your hot your tail is do not cut it off yet I say it in all of our crochet videos before you cut it off go back up through a couple just weave it in and out a couple and um, then pull it up and cut your yarn then And it's not going to come out. Um, even when you're washing it, you know, hand washing it, moving all those threads around, that's locked in place. It's not coming out. On to the next one will be this sleeve. And I'm going to do the same thing. I just think it's so much easier with a tapestry needle. Um, like I said, you could use your crochet hook if you want, however you want to do it. Keep weaving it in and out. Take it back up. Cut that off. It's not coming out. Let's find the next one. Down here on the uh, body. Well, this one's giving me difficulties. There we go. Like I said, doing the same thing. Broken record. This is the most monotonous part. I guess if I would have um, hid the tails as I was uh, making my project, um, it would probably be a lot easier. But hindsight is twenty twenty, right guys? <laughs> well, of course it is. All right. Let's see. Spin it around gently. Checking. 
friend of strays. I love, I love the back. I love how uh, gray, blue, and yellow goes together. You would not think they would, but they really do. And a friend of mine mentioned that, uh, what a great idea for a school spirit, school colors. And she's right. It is. It's a wonderful idea. Um, so I believe the only ones I have left, and no, I'm not looking up her address. We're <laughs> just kidding. Um, we're looking for loose tails. And there they are right there. So I'm going to put you guys on pause. And I'm going to go ahead and, oops, you guys can't even see. Um, this is where we started our pattern. So I'm just going to uh, hide those yarns. And, and I will be back. So that part is finished. And the next thing is, I like to make my own little um, tags. So what I do is I go to a store, Walmart, Target, or maybe even a, you know, arts and crafts store, anywhere they have fabric, and I get some faux leather. And then I cut it down into strips, uh, two inch strips. And then my two inch strip, I cut down. You guys, where'd I put my scissors? Oh, seriously, Tracy. <laughs> I need to put a finder beeper on, locator on these things. Found them. So then I cut my two inch strip down to, oh, about a finger. I try to keep them straight. So pick the straightest side. And cut yourself a little tag to put your own little design on. So I have this, fold it in half. If you want it smaller, you can make it smaller. I use a hole punch and I punch two little holes in it on the bottom. This is where I will put my thread through. No measuring needed. That's always a plus, right? Just eyeball it. Then I have a black Sharpie and I put some initials on it for me. I know you guys can't see it, but I put a little B on there. My daughter helped me come up with this little design and the um, faux leather tag. That's why I use it all the time. I have incorporated the white faux leather that you can get from Dollar Tree from their uh, Crafter Square section. Yeah. So, but I will always use these because it was my daughter's idea. Um, extra piece of yarn. Yeah, you don't need a lot. Feed it through your tapestry needle or however you're going to do it. Yeah, you can use crochet hook. And then you decide where you want your tag to be. Are you left-handed, right-handed? You're probably going to want it out of the way. So I'm going to put it not on the sleeve. I'm going to put it down here towards the bottom. And I'm just going to fold it over nice and snug. And then with my needle and yarn, go through the holes. And then just tie it in place. I think adding the extra little uh, tag gives it a little more of a person. I know it's personal, but it just, it's adorable. So we'll go ahead and cut those strings off. I put, um, I knotted it, did a reverse, and then in case I reversed it the wrong way. I put an extra knot in there. So there's three of them in there. And if you want, you could always put a little bit of a, a little dab of uh, super glue on there, fabric glue, something's not gonna 
wash off or come undone. I don't put anything on it. I think they are perfectly fine, just like that. And you guys, you finally, finally completed your pixie duster. Um, just think of all the colors you could do. If you really wanted to, you could incorporate the colors on the back into the sleeve. Uh, you could you could incorporate beadwork if you really wanted to and don't forget if you do the beadwork um, You just put the beads on before you start so whatever row you decide to put the beads on You would put your beads on before you attach the yarn on that row. I Think they are adorable um, Please let me know what you think if you have any questions uh, leave me a comment. Send me an email. I will leave that link in the description box below. And um, is this part eight or part 80 million? Anyways, um, this is the last one. It's the last. It is complete. I'm super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I apologize that it took so long, but I thank you. Thank you for sticking around and waiting for every part to come out. Um, again, if you have any questions, send me an email, leave me a comment. Um, if there's anything you would like to redo together, just let me know. Um, again, if you like this type of content, please give my video a thumbs up. And like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends, tell your family. Uh, we're trying to have that next giveaway at a thousand subscribers. I keep saying it all the time, but you guys are the best. You truly are. And I thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, I hope you have the best day ever. The best day ever. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next project. Are you excited? Oh, you should be.